Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video we will solve a few problems from thermodynamics. So the problem says we have an adiabatic container whose volume is 4 V0 and it is divided into two equal parts by a rigid fixed wall whose lower half is conducting and the upper half is non-conducting. Okay, so this wall over here, this vertical wall is actually rigid, lower half is actually conducting meaning heat can go in and out of this half and through the upper half there won't be any heat transfer and uh, this piston over here it is given to be freely moving massless and non-conducting so section a has two moles b and c each has one mole of ideal gas with adiabatic exponent of 1.5 if the heater in left part is switched on till the finer pressure in c becomes this much then we have to talk about the statements okay so initially guys the temperature everywhere you can easily figure out by using pv divided by nr and if you observe everywhere pv divided by n is the same because the n in the left section is two moles right so everywhere the temperature is going to be the same okay so this is how the initial state is looking like so now the heater is about to provide some heat to the gas in section a now as and as the wall cannot expand the and the heat will increase the internal energy of gas A meaning the temperature here will increase. Now if you consider any two points across this conducting wall over here the temperature in section A is as it is greater than the temperature in section, section C uh, and there will be heat transfer from section A to section C. Remember guys this wall was still non-conducting so no heat transfer will be happening from A to B. Now as heat is being given to the section C what's going to happen is the pressure of the gas present inside is going to increase. Some of the heat will go to increase the internal energy of gas C and some of it it will utilize to perform some expansion work. Let's say the piston displaces by a distance of x. Okay. Now guys uh, throughout the process if you observe something the, the net heat transfer to the section B let's call it QB is actually zero right because the container itself is thermally insulated and this con this wall is non-conducting and this piston is also non-conducting no heat transfer will happen to and from the section B uh, which essentially means the gas in section B is undergoing an adiabatic compression process okay so let's say when equilibrium will be achieved piston will be over here another thing is guys this piston is actually ma is massless right so so if we want this to be in equilibrium and as there is no friction the pressure from of the gas above must be equal to the pressure of the gas below so the final pressure of, ga of gas in section c is actually given so let's just uh, call it as pc so the so in the final case this should also be equal to the pressure of the gas in the section B. So now let's use the you know equation for the adiabatic process. So if we can say for the section B, P0 V0 to the power gamma equals the final pressure which is okay and let's say the final volume of the section B is VB to the power gamma and from here we get VB as now gamma is 1.5 so so this comes out to be 9 V0 divided by 25. So if you observe initially the volume was V0 and finally it is 9 by 25 V0. So the volume of the section C increased by a value of 16 V0 by 25. So the volume of the section C is going to be 16 by 25 V0 plus V0 which comes out to be 41 divided by 25 V0. Okay, so now uh, in one of the questions we needed the final temperature of the section C so as we know the pressure and volume we can figure that out so now by using ideal gas equation pc multiplied by vc i can write it as the number of moles into r into tc so this comes out to be 205 divided by 27 p0 v0 by r so that is option c also guys this section of the wall is given to be conducting meaning whenever there is a temperature difference between section a and section c heat transfer from section a to section c quickly brings the temperature difference to zero so essentially the temperature in section a and temperature in section c are always the same and that's the whole purpose of having a conducting wall okay so this is also the temperature of the section a in the final state and therefore option a is also correct now for the section b we can again use pv equals nrt and after solving the sec temperature in section b comes out to be 5 by 3 v0 p0 v0 by r which matches with option b as well so now we have to talk about the heat that is supplied by the heater so if i consider a b and c to be my system in this case then some heat q enters the system from the heater and as the boundaries of the system is not movable right it's a rigid body we can say that the heat only changes the internal energy of the system so the ad advantage of taking the entire thing as a system is let's say you took this part as your system so yes there is a heat entering q but there's a heat leaving to the section c q dash now again q dash will do some boundary work 
plus increase the internal energy of the gas so you have to write multiple equations if you want to solve that but if you take the entire thing as the system then we have one heat transfer term entering the system and as there is no boundary work being done on the system meaning the walls of the container aren't moving using first law we can just write q equals the change in internal energy of the system now to write the change in internal energy we need the cv of the system right and cv is actually the idle gas constant divided by gamma minus one which comes out to be 2r so we have the final temperatures of all the sections if you observe something the delta t for section a and section c are the same so we can include their moles together so a has two moles c has one mole so n will be 3 into cv which is 2r into delta t which is t final minus t initial t initial is p0 v0 by r and for the section b it is going to be 1 into 2r times delta t and after solving this comes out to be 368 by 9 p0 v0 which is option d so the answer to this question is a b c d